of all the directors you have been working with throughout your career, which one do you consider the best and what quality does that person have that makes that person the best? Uh, Stephen is, comes to mind. Uh, obviously, uh, Herb Ross, who directed The Goodbye Girl. Um, but very few directors do what they used to, which is to mix it up with actors and offer suggestions and enhance uh, the character. Most directors think that their work with actors is finished once they cast the film, and they'll let the actor do anything. And that's stupid. And um, um, the other part of it is, this is the ancient war or argument between commercial and art. It's been going on since Eric von Stroheim, and it will never end. Sometimes more trust will be given to the artist, sometimes less. And you can't say that one prevails over the other. Um, it's odd, though, and it's true, that because of the Hayes office and because of censorship, the greatest writing was accomplished in the 30s and 40s by writers who had to stand in for, you cannot kiss with an open mouth, you cannot show a toilet bowl, you cannot have two people in bed together unless they're sitting with one foot on the floor and it's a single bed. You cannot talk about sex. You cannot talk about undoing a brassiere. You can't do any of that. So you had to imply it with great writing. And that's why the American films made between 31 and 60 are great films. 